name is Pamela Sari, and I direct the Asian American and Asian Resource and Culture Center. Our center was founded in the spring of 2015 as a result of faculty, staff, and student activism for more than a decade, decade long. So fun fact about me was that I graduated uh, with my PhD from Purdue University. And when I was a graduate student, I was involved in some of these efforts to propose the Asian American and Asian Resource and Culture Center. So I always say that um, I have a full circle of engagement with the center. So our center is a resource that invites all mm -hmm. Purdue communities to weave diverse Asian and Asian American experiences into our campus life. So we do this through the intersections of pedagogy, cultural work, and advocacy. Some of our signature programs include Lunch and Learn every Thursday um, in the fall and spring semester. And also our speaker series, we invite speakers from um, all across expertise into Purdue campus. And we also celebrate cultural events such as our annual Lunar New Year celebration. We also work with faculty and staff across the colleges um, to weave Asian and Asian American experiences into the classrooms. We also work very closely with Asian interest student organizations. There are so many of them that you can get involved with. So again, we welcome um, your interest if that's, that's something that you are uh, really interested in. We also have an active social media presence. Um, on my background is our website and also you can find us and our daily thematic content on Instagram and Facebook. And also we are on Twitter as well. I can speak of the impacts in terms of uh, two things. One, for students who identify as Asian and Asian Americans, we foster a sense of belonging and growth of identity and also a sense of collaborations with each other in terms of Asian Americans and Asian internationals. Due to um, systemic racism that, that often happen um, against our communities, Sometimes um, we are in the position of, we're trying to position ourselves away from each other. And I've seen that the art is, is trying to, to build the bridges among the two communities. Uh, for example, this, this just came up in, in some of our programming last semester. Some of our students come from communities like Hannah mentioned, where they might be one of, or the only Asian in the community. They never see other people who look like them. And when um, they're in school, uh, suddenly there's a feeling of shame about, you know, bringing their own food to, to the school, for example. There's a, there's a sense of shame and also a sense of, of shaming. And when we talk about, right, um, food, for example, what is, what is your favorite thing to cook? Um, and suddenly that conversation is flowing about, yeah, I remember the time when I feel ashamed of bringing even my own uh, cultural food, food that I eat at home into my education setting. So the opportunity to, to get together and discuss these issues have allowed, you know, the, the growth of identity and, and the, the growing sense of belonging as members of the communities. Asian Americans and Asian internationals have different but also intersecting histories that we would like to share and celebrate with each other. So, and we see some of the people that we've interviewed, they said that they grew up without a sense of uh, role models through the TV, um, people around them, they don't see people who look like them. And what a privilege it has been to bring people like Wong Fu Production, uh, Mirai Nagasu, Olympian and U.S. figure skating team, where people can um, say to us that, wow, um, there are people who look like us who can be successful. Um, so it fosters a sense of uh, growth in their identity. So for the rest of campus communities, um, the presence of the art can foster a creation of strong allies to help us dispel some of the myths that we often hear about Asian and Asian American communities. For example, the idea of a uh, model minority myth, the Asian and Asian American comes into college campuses successful, don't need help. So, and by looking into the diversity of our communities, we can begin to see, right, many of us actually need help. 
and how can we be allies to each other in this sense. So hopefully that's, that will continue to, to. Uh, Purdue, as we know, have, has excellent academic programs, which means that our students are really working hard to achieve their academic success. And my favorite, and honestly, my favorite, some of my favorite moments at the ARCs is late afternoon when students come together with their communities, um, working at the ITAP computer lab at the center or utilizing the conference room at the center. And I can see them um, trying to teach each other homework while singing together, um, going to the kitchen to get something to eat and back and discussing again about their homework and their classes. The, the creation of communities of care are just um, refreshing to me and, and encouraging me every single day. And in fact, um, from some of the students that we talked to and also staff members that we talked to, mental health professionals um, actually also recommend our students go to these types of communities and go to student organizations, um, in, our, in our case, with Asian interests to, to get that, that sense of community and, and to get that sense of care um, with each other. So that's something that I really um, am touched every time. For, and our student organization have been very forward thinking in terms of including Asian American and inter, Asian internationals in their groups. And so I can see these, these bridges are being built, relationships are being fostered. So that is, that is one of the excellence um, efforts that I've been seeing coming through. And also our students have been uh, gaining skills from their involvement with the center and their involvement with the Asian interest student organization, skills that are translated into academic work that look into the diversity and intersectionality of our communities. For example, I uh, work with several students who eventually through their involvement at the ARC, they're interested in taking more courses like intro to Asian American studies or other courses in other colleges that look into intersectionality of our identities and they decide to pursue further education, um, looking at their own communities, um, looking at intersectionality of work in, you know, across our communities, and they translate that into graduate school applications into their work. Writing letters of recommendation uh, is also one of my favorite things to do because I can see that their aspirations really translate into um, growing skills, growing academic work and skills. So there are many ways that you all can get involved with the ARC. First one is, uh, like the other directors have said, visit the cultural centers. We have welcoming staff at the ARC. We also have a graduate student and two undergraduate staff members um, who can speak with you. And uh, if you want to learn more about what you can do to get involved, also, I would recommend participate in our events, not only as attendees, and being attendees are great, but also as organizers mm -hmm. and presenters. Um, our students have been presenting at our weekly lunch and learn. For example, one time, um, a couple of students presented on the history of chopsticks and how, you know, the history of chopsticks represent diversity of our communities. Um, the student organizations that we work with uh, they volunteer to host tables at our events, for example, at the Lunar New Year celebration. They host different events, again, to emphasize the diversity of the Lunar New Year experiences across countries, across regions in the United States. They participate um, as volunteers in our speaker series. We try to collaborate with student organizations to when we invite each of our speakers. That way, um, our students can also get experiences of hosting and also organizing planning events. And the third one is participate in our communication efforts. So subscribe to our weekly newsletter if you haven't done so. Uh, follow us on social media and also participate in our social media thematic events. And lastly, we're now uh, trying to grow our services to fulfill our mission. For example, we just started our ARC research labs we're doing uh, research right now, for example, on uh, media portrayal and media impact uh, on Asian and Asian American communities surrounding the issue of COVID-19. Um, if that fits in your academic work, 
come talk to me and how you can get involved and how you can uh, participate in this research. And also, this is something exciting. We're starting our lion dance team that hopefully we'll be able to present in some of our major university campus events in the future. So if you have talents in the area or you would like to practice and grow your skills in the area, please come join us in our this, this upcoming lion dance team. So there's some of the ways that you can get involved. 